Hey guys, it's Josh. Um, just uh, doing uh, my response to the uh, Mr. Burroughs' top 30 cards in your PC. Uh, a little bit about me first. Um, if you don't know, I collect Mike Piazza. Uh, I started about almost two years ago. Um, Dave Ellinger, uh, he got me going on that. Um, so at first I started collecting uh, base cards, inserts and parallels, all common stuff, um, picking up a couple of rare ones along the way. <clears throat> so my collection isn't very, uh, very high end. Um, I don't have any crusades or anything like that. Um, they're all kind of out of my price range at this moment, but I do have a couple of nice cards that I like to show off. Um, I think it's over 30, but um, just bear with me. Uh, a couple of honorable mentions. Um, I got this one out of Brant's break um, when he did that. I believe it was this one. Um, so the, uh, the 2000 EX, exceptional. I just like the way that they, it's almost like, you can't really tell really from the yeah, you can see it. It looks like it's like cloudy almost. It's like a cloudy shine. Um, it's very trippy looking. Um, and this one is out of 1999. Um, I do have all three. So here's the green. That one's out of 999. <clears throat> and the blue. It was either, you know what, it might have been either the blue or the green that I got out of Brant's break um, one time, but I just like the design of it, uh, how it looks almost like it's a cloud uh, how in the back, and it's, this one's out of 250. Uh, my next one is a th three part as well. Um, I think somebody might have covered it already in one of their top 30, but uh, it's the uh, the 2000 Stadium Club 3x3. So this one's the Luminous. Again, um, these is like, they go, <clears throat> I think a card goes on the left side and the M1 goes on the right side of different players and you connect them up like a puzzle. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. And then the Luminescent which is the, the refractor. Nothing on the back, but it's all die cut in there. I like that. And then the illuminator, the atomic refractor. So, so that's all three of that. Uh, and then these I just picked up from from a lot that I did. It's the uh, 2000 Finest Counterparts. So this is the refractor. Just a regular refractor. And then the gold refractor. Uh, and then this one my last uh, honorable mention, 97 Donner's Preferred Exponential Power. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool to get the other part of the X. Uh, I believe it's Mondesi um, for the uh, the pair. Uh, I got, um, I did one, I, I actually, this one's out of 3000. Um, I got this for, um, for Greg. I got him a salmon one like this. Uh, I like it. It's like, you know, you can see through it. Uh, it's die cut and it's got like that refractor finish to it. So it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I like it. <clears throat> All right. Um, I like this one. Um, so my, for my, no, there's no order in any of these. Um, that would just be way too much time, too much time consuming for me um, to uh, to try to put them in a in a top ten or top thirty even. But um, I picked this one up. I think I got this from COMC. Um, it's the uh, <clears throat> the 
97EX2000 Hall or nothing. Um, it's bronze. It kind of looks gold, but it's bronze. But it's pretty sweet. I like it. So, there you go. Uh, this one I actually got from Greg. Um, it was pretty sweet. Um, I was in Macedonia, and he messaged me and said, "Hey man, when are you coming home?" And I and I told him the date. And he was like, "Cool, I got a package uh, on the way, and it'll be there the day you come home." I was like, "Cool, what's in it?" And he's like, "Ah, I'm not telling you." And bam, he comes out with this hotness. I was totally. I was blown away. Destination Cooperstown. It's awesome. It was an awesome uh, gift coming back from Macedonia. I was like, I was in the, I was there for three weeks, so it, it sucked. And getting this mail was was awesome. I really appreciated that. So. <clears throat> Uh, the next uh, the next one is a two two part because you can't do one without the other. So I got the uh, 95 Pinnacle Red Hot and the White Hot. Obviously, the Dufex is on point tonight. I got two, two more for this next one. Uh, first one is the uh, <clears throat> franchise best. This is the Mach Two, and the Mach Three. I like them both. Um, obviously, uh, the big difference is one is see-through, and the other is not. The Mach Two is not. The Mach 3 is. So, it's out of 1,000 and 500. So, that was 99 Bowman's best. Um, so, this next one I got from Dave Ellinger. Um, he, uh, he hooked me up with this one. 99 gold label red class one and just like every other one you can every other red you can kind of see it there so that was a pretty pretty sweet deal I got on that um, I mean it's a sweet card I like it a lot. And then I went and got a black label of it. So, pretty sweet. And then I liked I liked the 99 a lot that uh, I wanted to um, to try to do another year. So I started on the 98. So for this, I have uh, the, the uh, class one, class two, and class three, all regular uh, gold label. And then I picked up this, which is the uh, pre-production. And, and then I got one a black label from it. Black label. So sure, slowly but surely, I'm working on them. Um, 
These next three, I've uh, I've done a video on them before. Uh, just a quick little video, um, just to show that I pretty much only need one um, to complete the uh, the little uh, quad of them. Uh, the '96 Bowman's best best cuts. It's a sweet design. I love it. Um, I stopped collecting probably around like 93 or well, 94 probably. Um, and then there's the Atomic. And, um, and then here's the uh, Uncut. So all I need really is the Uncut of the Atomic. And it would be pretty sweet. But um, I stopped collecting. Uh, like 94 so this is like all after me um, I had no idea about any of this stuff until Dave was like dude you're about to get learned today so slowly but surely I'm, uh, I'm learning everything um, like I said I just started collecting back up uh, two years ago um, started with the new stuff 2017 2018 didn't really like it uh, Dave showed me a lot of the uh, inserts and parallels from the 90s so it kind of just stuck um so speaking of inserts so i got two for you i got 96 flare hot gloves it's a pretty sweet card i like the die cut of it with the glove and then I'll go with that the 97 Flare Showcase Hot Gloves. And I believe this was the last year um, that it was done. But I like this card a lot. Dave, um, I, th I believe it was Dave, he told me, dude, you need to go and scoop it up. So I did. And uh, it's been here ever since. So I like that a lot. Um, and then I got the diamond cuts from 97 Flare Showcase. It's a pretty sweet insert. Uh, and then these next two I got from Dave as well. I got the, uh, the Donner's production line, the slugging percentage. And the power index. So I'm missing one more. Uh, I have a 638 and I have a 1070. I like how it, they correlate with the slugging percentage. You know, this 628, so it's at a, or sorry, 638, so it's at a 638. And then same thing with his OPS or power index. 1.070 So that's pretty sweet. I like how they did that it's Shiny I like it And we got 99 ultra diamond producers This is a nice sparkly card. I like it. I like how it's see-through die cut sparkly it's it's everything that i enjoy in a card uh most like mostly like everyone else and there we go 99 fleer brilliance gold at a 99 it's, i i mean it's probably one of my my top top cards that I have. It's like some smudge or something on there. Yeah, a little smudge. I don't know. I, I took it out of the um, out of the bags just so you, most of them actually see, so you, you know, so I can get the full effect. But, and another two uh, two part. 
Got the 98 Tops Chrome Hallbound Refractor. And that was die cut, and this is the uncut. Again, uh, it, it's die cut, it's refractor. I, I like how the hall is in the, you know, I get the picture of the Hall of Fame in the background, at the entrance. So, yeah, there's that one. Now I only have the uncut of this, Lords of the Diamond, from 99 Tops Chrome. I do have just the regular die cut, non-refractor, but I don't really see, uh, I don't really see it refractoring. It's really, it's a, it's a glass finish. I love it. Um, it's pretty neat. I like that. And I got the uh, 99 Upper Deck Retro, old school, new school. Uh, this one's out of a thousand. That one's out of fifty. I like them. They're pretty neat. I mean, they're they're pretty much identical, uh, except for the numbering, obviously. Uh, and then the uh, the Mets emblem. So the 50 is like a gold, and then the thousand is like a bronze or orangey type. So I like it. All right. So now this next one, I believe. So I got this, I got these off of eBay. I got this one off of eBay, 2000 Crown Royal Proof. This is the numbered one, obviously. Um, this was at, it's out of 50. I believe it was this one I got off of Tanner, off of eBay, if, if uh, memory serves me correctly. He had a whole bunch. Uh, I didn't even realize it was Tanner until afterwards. Um, it's really hard to see, but there you go. But yeah, so Tanner hooked me up with that one. Um, I like it. Um, and then uh, we got 98 Finest Stadium Stars. Again, it's like a mirror finish. I like it, and it's got. I don't know if they're just balls in the background or if they're supposed to be like planets, but it's pretty neat. And then they got Dodger Stadium in the background. I got this off of one of Brant's breaks. It was, uh, it was pretty stoked. And to go with that um, 98 Finest, I got a Centurion Refractor. No, not a refractor. Just a regular Centurion. And a 500. And 96 Finest Refractor. I'd probably have to say this is one of my top cards as well. I like it. Dave hooked me up with this as well. 96 Pinnacle Skylines. Again, no die cut, but it's see-through. It's that acetate card, I like that. I forget who it was. I think it was the the guy that was doing uh, the, the Barry Bonds one, uh, Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> um, he said uh, every something like every every collection should have their players skyline i was very fortunate enough for dave to hook me up with this 
Speaking of hookups, another one from Greg. We got this bad boy right here. 2001 E-Tops. Very refractory, as Greg would say. He's pretty stoked about this too. And then, I'll save that one for this. Um, I don't really do graded cards too much with my PC. Um, most of them, as you can see, are all in uh, one touches, but I picked this up in a, in a PS a lot, and I could not say no. I also, I believe I also have this not graded, but I mean, this is a pretty sweet card. I like it. Um, gallery here is from 98 Tops Gallery. And then my last... Well, this is this pair is my last two. We got the uh, 97 Donner's Power Alley, the non -ref the non die cut, and the die cut. Um, so as you can see, 14 out of 2,000, 1164 out of 2,000. So the first 250 copies of each card, regardless of color. Uh, we're all die cut, so I thought that was a pretty neat uh, concept as well. <clears throat> and last but not least, uh, I don't have too many relic cards um, from the 90s era of Piazza. Um, I have a bunch from like now, um, you know, like 2017, 2018 um, stuff, but I did um, pick this up pretty cheap it's uh, 2003 Donner's Classics dress code bat and then I don't know if you can see it is a three color there's like a dark blue string <laughs> orange and then this light blue and that's out of 200 that's probably like my only era uh, relic that I have of his um, but you guys always give me great ideas. Um, I, I jot them down. <clears throat> and um, I just uh, keep a mental note of it or I put it in a spreadsheet. And, um, you know, when, when, when I get the money or if I see them pop up, then, you know, I buy it. But, uh, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, I hope Dave will do a video of his Piazza collection. Um, his will blow mine out of the water, and I'm totally cool with that. Um, he has an amazing collection of Piazza cards, um, and uh, I hope that one day that mine is as epic as his. So that's all I got. Um, have a good night, guys. Peace.